So this is Mario once again with MIA Microflight. So I have been uh, working on the couple pilot figures that you see here. This is for the Tanarg Radio Control Microlight. The one that I've been uh, recently posting on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook and website pages. But uh, what I've done here, as I explained in my last video on the Tanarg uh, series of videos, is that uh, I modified the helmets slightly from the original MIA 1.25 pilot figures and that is so that I could achieve a little more curvature to the helmets. Yes. Now in my last video that I showed the pilot helmets or heads, I only showed the upper portion of the helmets. These have been already done with the bottom section and as you can see it's a little more uh, complete and th these are the final ones. And I have some variations in addition to the ones that I did uh, before uh, to add some details such as a visor. Uh, we have this little visor here and we have a face shield on, on this one, another visor here. And I did them in various colors and, and uh, materials. Uh, these are the carbon pattern ones. These are the ones that I supply with the kits. So if you happen to purchase one of these uh, pilot figures from MIA Microflight, you will get the, uh, the carbon pattern. Uh, helmets, which uh, is what you, you're seeing here. Now, if you request a color one, I'll be glad to send you one with a color helmet instead. But these are the ones. The price has increased a little bit because of the extra work that is required to do these uh, pilot uh, uh, heads. And I've also upgraded the fly suit. And this is just for the Tanarik that I'm doing this, uh, the two color version here. This is a little more work, uh, obviously, because we have to cut the material in, in separate pieces so it becomes uh, quite a little more uh, in, involved uh, as far as the uh, you know the pattern work and the, the sewing and so as you can see here you know the pattern matches very precisely here and this is something that I personally take great pride in doing because I do this all this stuff myself one of the things that my mom taught me uh, is don't do anything half uh, done make sure that you do your best and that you uh, make it as, as precise as possible. Something that I learned from my, my mom who passed away many years ago. My mom had a master's degree in design, clothing design and fashion. And so this is where I picked up, you know, some of the, uh, uh, some of those trade uh, secrets, you know, from my mom, uh, if you can call them secrets, you know, there it, it's more, more, you know, understanding how things, you know, how a, a particular design such as a, a flight suit or your clothing needs to be cut and pattern and uh, assemble. So I picked that up from my mom and that's the result that you're seeing here that, that has transferred into my skills. So as you can see, you know, all these things are done in steps. The helmet takes about 10 pieces to complete. Uh, the fly suit, you know, it's not just a, a fly suit stuffed with a, with a foam or, uh, you know, stuffing material. You know, the fly suit in itself has, is done separately it's got provisions for the gloves. Even the gloves are, are very meticulously done. You know, this is something that I experimented also by trial and error quite a bit. And I did do dozens before I arrived at this particular uh, glove that you see here. And, you know, I, I even tweaked this a little bit more so that you can get a little more realism, you know, when the pilot's sitting and when it's grabbing the, uh, the control bar. So you can see how that came out. And uh, so I, I've been, you know, putting a little more realism and a little more precise uh, details on the on the helmets, you know, the flight suits and and even the, the interior body, which is separately done. All these things are done separately. And so the price that I charge for these things is very reflective on the amount of work that is required to do this kind of level of, of uh, product. Not a man mass manufactured product. Everything that's done in Mia Microflight is done in-house in the U.S. by myself. So this is the kind of work that it's, is reflected here in, on, on all my videos. This is uh, more in uh, the custom line of work that we do you know, with many of our ultralights. You know, our ultralight kits are custom kits. They're not mass produced once again. And even though they're kits, they're customized because each one is built per customer requirements. You want a specific uh, kit with specific color on the sale, details, that's custom work that needs to be done on a per customer order. So that's the kind of work that uh, Mia Microflight has been uh, shifting towards doing. I'd like to take this opportunity to say that a lot of the products that we used to do, the micro helicopter uh, 
uh, upgrades and things. We're going to be phasing that out and concentrating more on uh, the larger stuff. And th that's just so that I can have the, the concentration and the time to do these things. Um, when I established MIA Microflight, a lot of this work was part of the, the game plan, uh, so to speak, back, you know, 20-some years that I, when, when I decided to uh, establish my company. And I knew that at some point, even though at that time, let me put it this way, I was concentrating on micro helis because at that, at that time, back in the 80s, uh, there was no company making micro helicopters, especially the electric ones. And so um, I decided to do that as a means to not only uh, provide myself with a, an electric helicopter that I could train myself with in the comfort of my, my own home, but at some point offer that to the public, which I eventually did when I uh, came here to Arizona and established MIA Microflight back in 2000. And I started talking in RC groups and showing a lot of the stuff that I was doing back then. And, um, and eventually, you know, we got into the, the micro, uh, sub-micro and palm size. Those are categories that MIA Microflight started originally before anybody caught onto that market and got on board that uh, area. But I also knew that that market uh, will probably last about 10 years, which is, is about the time that the micro helis uh, has lasted. So I, even though I originally had the intention to do strictly micro helicopters, which was my uh, area of expertise at that time, I knew that at some point that might change and I, that I needed to do something else. And so one of the other areas of interest to me was uh, ultra lights, micro lights, and things that Again, that have not so been done. So that's where MIA Microflight comes from, and this is the, the kind of work that is reflecting our current uh, products. So once again, this is Mario with me on Microflight. Stay tuned for more.